I'm going to attempt to do this video. Hi everybody, I'm Ashton and today I'm going to be doing a story time about my work. I work at a grocery store so I work with the public. I have a lot of crazy experiences working at the grocery store so I have a whole list of stuff to talk about. I don't know if I'm going to talk about it all in this one video but I'll probably do a couple of videos for it so let's just go ahead and get started videos coming out that way. I have a group chat going on right now and it's talking about kidnapping Jacob Eason, which if you don't know who that is, that is a whole nother video. I'm just gonna do the first story and it's the story of the first time I got yelled at by a customer. I was checking out this lady and all her groceries were bagged and everything. She's paying with a credit card. Well, her card doesn't go through, so she's trying to call her card company to see why her card isn't going through. I have a line full of people that I'm trying to check out because we're busy and it's hectic at a grocery store. I get her order suspended, which if you know what that means, it means it has a receipt and all you have to do is scan it and it has all the items that you've already scanned. I had her order suspended. I was thinking she was gonna walk away and be on the phone so I could check out these other people. She just sat at the end of my register. I was trying to get her stuff out of my way so I could check out the rest of the people. I apologize if the camera angle changed, my camera cut off. She goes, ma'am, you don't have to put my stuff underneath your register. And I was like, okay. So I go to set down her stuff. I'm just trying to calm down because I was not in the mood. I'm setting her stuff down and I may have had a little bit of an attitude at this point. Customer's always right. Learned that the hard way. I set her groceries down and she literally explodes. I don't even know what she says. She's yelling at me because I set down her groceries in an attitude like way. I didn't set down her groceries, I slammed them down, which I know I did not slam them down. I promise. My manager comes running and he's like, ma'am, ma'am, it's okay, like trying to calm her down. And he's like, I'll take you on a different register. Oh geez, I don't know what I would have done without my manager. That was a crazy moment for me and that I am a really sensitive person so I started crying and my hair looks like shit. So I started crying and that's usually how those situations end. This was within the same week. So this week was not a good week. I was checking out a customer and I was talking to my manager and I guess I was laughing and the customer was handing me money. So I took the money out of his hand and he's like, don't snatch the money out of my hand. And I was like, okay, thinking he's kidding around. He was like, this is not a joke. Oh my God, he's being serious. And I'm just sitting there like, okay. And then he's still sitting there cussing me out. I don't know what to do. I'm like sitting here. Oh my God, what just happened? I don't even remember snatching the money out of his hand. My manager's walking by, same manager from the last story. And he's looking at the guy like, seriously? You can't talk to our employees like that. At this point, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. This is the second time this week. And I'm in tears and I'm like, I can't, I can't do this. I turned off my light, I went to the bathroom. It was not good. My manager apologized to me. He was like, I'm so sorry if I was the reason why that happened. I was like, no, it wasn't your fault. A couple weeks later, the guy comes in, he's talking to my manager. I'm like, oh, <laughs> like, what are they talking about? My manager comes up to me and he's like, hey, he wanted to apologize for what he did, but he wanted to do it in front of me. Me and my manager walk up to him and I'm like, hi, and he's like, Hi, I just wanted to apologize for my behavior a couple weeks ago. I wasn't in the mood that day and I personally work for the public and that just what happened wasn't customer service like and I just was not in the mood. And so he apologized, which I don't know. I mean, I don't think I snatched the money out of his hand, but I wasn't even paying attention. So who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Anyways, I am definitely going to be doing more of these videos, just to FYI, because like I said, I have this whole list of stuff right here to talk about with you guys, and I'm really excited to be making videos because I had time to make this video. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and you want more story times. I mean, you're going to get them anyways because I mean this whole list right here. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm really crazy. I make really funny videos and yeah, so I think you would enjoy my videos. You should subscribe. I probably look like I have a problem when I do that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I was, oh god, I'm so crazy. 
I had time to <laughs> But anyways, so ignore my phone going off though Probably be a lot of that in bloopers, so I didn't set down I set her I, I Apologize if the camera angle changed, okay. I Never have time, but I had time <laughs> I, I don't even know. Customer is always right in, um, when, and, um, <laughs> Selena Gomez.